back in Nathaniel Box. Uh, this is called Rise of the Villains this season, as you know. And up till this point in the season, in the first three episodes, the villains have been running by and absolutely taking out to take names. And there has to be some sort of counter to that. So my my guy is sort of the cavalry, if you will. And I come in as some pushback to replace my predecessor who's been killed reasonably by these guys. Um, and I, so I'm serving sort of as a mentor to um, Ben's character, but as well as a, uh, um, you know, uh, an antagonist of sorts, because he's slipping down that, you know, sliding down that slippery slope of, um, you know, uh, and justifies the being law enforcement, which my character is adamantly opposed to. The good news is, is you will find out some of the reasons why he's adamantly opposed to being this way of fighting for him. It doesn't work. There's obviously some darkness in his past and his character that makes him much more of a good character. Fair enough? Absolutely. Yeah, so... No, no, I would never do that. I, if I'm going to play Gagnacki again, I'll play Gagnacki. Um, but, you know, if I were to preclude myself from playing uh, cops, that would be pretty much 85% of all I could have made. So, as long as it's a different person and it's a different world and this is decidedly different, I mean, that's a real reality, you know, so this is art and it's, you know, it's, it's a comic book, so you have that license, right? Uh, it's a fun entertainment, right? But it's, what makes those, to me, what makes comic book genre movies or television shows work is that you ground that in reality to the, to the extent that you think and you have fun with it. And you like your tongue and your teeth. And, you know, we, we all get it. We're self-aware. We go like, okay, this is what, you know. So we're, we're, we're here to entertain you. And if you come with us and go on the ride, it'll be a fun, amazing ride. And the show Beautiful shot. I mean, you gotta admit, it's lush. It looks, the cinematographers do a tremendous job of this Because remember, we do this in a, we make, basically make a feature film in nine days. You know, and, and everything therein, right? Everything that it entails. And the scale of this show, that kind of time frame, for them to achieve this kind of result, it's really extraordinary. So, between the look of it, I mean, it's like, 700 million people in this country. Yeah, just about there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like a lot. Of, but we do kill a lot. Yeah, but there's just it's a slaughter. You guys are so sad. <laughs> I think there's something in this show about about knife death and stabbing. Well, it's very really up close. Yeah, it is. The same thing really scary. So you're even sad to get stabbed. Yeah. And it's just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and one of the things I think that's interesting about this show, to me, I can imagine the person in the room. If I was just an executive and you walked into the room in front of me and said, okay, it's got the color to the eyes of Commissioner Gordon when he was the best. And get to see the art and stories of all the We can hook up with DC, then we can have creative license to tell these art and stories and use that view. I would have gone like, I would have bought that in the room. Because, you know, <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, and then when it came to me, it's sort of like, okay, law enforcement, cops, and robbers, kind of uh, Yeah, <laughs> right, of course. Because um, it's sort of an, a, a, a hybrid of so many of the things I've done in my career coming together. So it just seemed like it was a bit of a no, it's just really uh, a natural fit. You know, it's sort of without being the same. It's, it, it's rare when you have something that feels sort of like an old glove that you've owned forever, uh, but at the same time, it's brand new glove. Yeah, I 
Just as part of an observer, that one of the sort of challenges in doing the prequel is how do you surprise? How do you, you know, and you know, to that was to a sort of red herring, right? You just, you know, don't pay attention to this man. You know, I mean, he got everybody thinking that this was a joke. You know, they didn't think that there's no way he's going to go and it was. You know, so you have to be creative in the way that you can shock and, and keep people off balance. Obviously, the storytelling has evolved. It's been a great renaissance to tell you about the last 15 years. It's been kind of amazing to watch. And so the audience is a much more sophisticated experience. It's cool. They, they used to see great storytelling, surprises. Uh, no one's safe. When you feel like anything can happen, you're sort of lost in with this another level of yeah, anxiety, you know, and, and you know, anticipation. And I think it's just uh, it's a challenge. The writers part too. Yeah, right? yeah we want to be one of the things that we're trying to do. We're trying to do something good. It's almost like looking at it like, look, you guys just spent all these different rumors about me in the past, but here's what really happened. You, can, you know what I'm saying? You can sort of look at it like, you know, all this has been fan fiction, but this is really what You know? You should take ownership of it, right? You, you can keep that one, by the way. Oh, good. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thanks, guys.